today I want to show you uh, a furnace which you can use for melting metals. Um, now I'll show you some details here. This one is this particular one is made in the UK, as you can see on the bottom right there. And I'll show you some details, some numbers on the back, and oh, this is how it looks from the back. Um, there's a fuse in there. It's about one year old. There are some details, you know, where it's from, serial number, blah blah blah. This is how it looks like when it's open. This is the area where you put the item in. Yeah. And on the bottom you can see there is a little crack. I'll do a close-up now. There's a little crack. It's about a one year old this machine. Just about. Well, it's quite normal apparently that they crack after a while because of the heat differences and what else, uh, I don't know. Um, anyway, yeah, there is a crack. It doesn't affect anything. There will be more cracks if you use it more and more here and there. And it's not because it falls down or anything. Nothing like that, no. Um, it's because of temperature differences, I've been told. Anyway, let's crack on. <laughs> By the way, crack. Um, yeah, now I switch the machine on and it takes a while. I switched the machine on and as you can see, hold on, I go closer, hold on. It's 21 degrees. This is about a, the room temperature. So this is the temperature now. And it takes a while to warm up about, depends. If you want to go up to 1200, it takes a few, couple of hours or so. To reset it to 500 soon, I'll show you. You, you can set it up to, up to 1200 degrees Celsius, which is 2192 Fahrenheit, um, which is quite hard. You can melt most of the metals. Um, yeah, this is after about 10, 15 minutes, something, something like this, and you can see how quickly it goes up now. 71, 72, yeah. And this is what we're melting. This is a sink. We have copper plating, but ignore the copper plating. There's a sink. The melting point of sink is about 420 Celsius, which is 788 Fahrenheit. So now we reached 500 degrees Celsius. Well, we set a machine of 500 to make it a bit hotter than the melting point, of course. Um, you can see now the temperature. We open it up, put this item in, be very careful with this. And now it drops the temperature, of course because you had it open and cold air goes in. But it goes up to, what, 486, and now it's slowly, slowly warming, uh, go up again. Yeah, it takes a while until it goes back up to 500. Uh, okay, after about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, yeah, not, not even that, 10 minutes, you take it out, And then you can see that's it. It's melted. I mean, this melting po point is is quite low anyway, of the, of the sink. And now the dirt is all on the top. You can see that it's like the plating. What was the copper plating was on there, and other stuff. Which I mean, sink is not pure. There's some other rubbish maybe in there or something. So you can take it off. All this. This has a special name, by the way, but I can't remember what they call it because I don't do this every day. I do plating. I don't do melting. <laughs> it's a different kind of fish. Um, anyway, you take this off, and then you can see the sink there. You can see this. Look, it's like it's a more. It's like more like water now. Um, you must be careful if you tip it over. It is very very hot. So now we let the machine cool down, the fans in it that cool the machines down. You shouldn't open it up, you should let cool it down with the machine and it takes, uh, again, it takes another half an hour, 45 minutes maybe in this case, to cool down completely back to like 20 whatever degrees Celsius. Now we cool this down here now in water and this is how it looks like. 
Yeah, that's it. And okay, I'll put all the details in this case. In this case, I'm selling this machine or reselling the machine. Um, it's based in Bath. The machine itself is in Bath, in Somerset. Um, I'll put a link in the description in, on reselling it on eBay if someone is interested. And if I don't have a link there, then the machine is sold already or I haven't listed it yet. Of course, it's depending when you watch this video. If you watch it a year later after publishing, uh, then of course the machine is sold. And you know, um, anyway, thanks for watching. All my details: I do gold plating, silver plating. I do all, all the plating. I normally don't do melting uh, metal. I do finishing. You find it in the description. Please subscribe. Thumbs up. Have a good day. Goodbye.